On December 10th, 2016, voters in Jefferson Parish will be asked to decide whether to renew existing millages, which support several specific parish entities that rely on that funding. These millages would expire in 10 years. The success of our outreach depends on your help spreading the word. So in this video, we will go over what these millages mean for Jefferson Parish residents and business owners. A millage is a means of assessing a property tax. One mill is equal to one-tenth of one cent. To learn more about how millages are calculated, you can visit our website at www.jeffparish.net. It is important to note that the millages in this presentation are not new taxes. They are a continuation of what is already in place. Exactly what millages are scheduled for renewal on December 10th? 1. Drainage 2. Recreation and 3. Jefferson Parish Libraries. All three millages are vital to the operations and maintenance of their departments. Let's start by talking about drainage. The six mill ad valorem property tax millage for drainage currently funds 45% of the drainage department's operations and maintenance. Operations include 69 pump stations, 340 miles of open canals and ditches, 1,465 miles of subsurface drainage pipe and box culverts, 44,000 catch basins and inlets, 5,500 manholes, 2,800 canal outfall pipes, and over 287 employees. Each component of operations collectively works to keep our streets and homes dry and water pumped efficiently. Both the east and west banks of Jefferson Parish have extensive drainage canal systems and pump station networks. This is what the east bank looks like. And this is what the west bank looks like. What does the drainage millage cost you as a homeowner? This chart can help you estimate what you're paying. As you can see, a home valued at $100,000 costs the homeowner $15 a year or $1.25 per month. The same formula applies to higher home values. Now let's move on to discuss the recreation millage. This millage is only accessible to unincorporated areas of Jefferson Parish and the town of Jean Lafitte. The 10 mill ad valorem property millage currently funds 93% of the operations and maintenance for the Consolidated Recreation and Community Center and Playground District. Operations and maintenance include 57 playgrounds and satellite parks, Maintenance of over 2,500 parish acres. Maintenance and upgrades to all JPRD facilities and parks. Subsidy of all youth programs. Leisure services, including camps and enrichment classes. Golden Age clubs. Community enrichment and special population events. And recreation department staffing. It is important to keep these factors in mind as countless numbers of families enjoy these parks and facilities every day. What does the recreation millage cost you as a homeowner? As you can see, a home valued at $100,000 costs the homeowner $25 a year or $2.08 per month. Remember, the recreation millage is only accessible to unincorporated areas of Jefferson Parish and the town of Jean Lafitte. And again, this is not a new tax. Finally, let's discuss the library millage and what these funds provide for you. The 6.5 ad valorem property millage currently funds 96.8% of the library's operations and maintenance. This includes materials and services, staffing of over 200 employees, new construction, repairs, and maintenance, and operational expenses including utilities and electricity. Each component of operations collectively works to keep your library services and materials updated and free of charge. This millage makes it possible for much needed projects, such as the new River Ridge Library. The River Ridge Library will serve Jefferson Parish as a 10,000 square foot state-of-the-art neighborhood branch library. This millage also helps support early childhood education development through various programs and allows access to the latest technology for those who do not have it available to them. What does the library millage cost you as a homeowner? As you can see, a home valued at $100,000 costs the homeowner $16.25 a year, or $1.35 per month. As you've seen, the continuation of each millage is vital to maintaining the valuable public services provided by each department. 
In addition to the three millage renewals on the December 10th ballot, there's also a proposition to extend an important 1% sales tax. The 7 8 has been utilized for road work and drainage projects, as well as sewerage. So what purchases are subject to this 1% tax? Eligible goods and services include tangible personal property, retail, and most services. Items excluded from this 1% sales tax are groceries, restaurant and bakery purchases, medical services, medication, and medical equipment. Over the years, the 7 8 sales tax has funded many vital parish projects totaling approximately $47.9 million annually in capital improvements. It is important to note that the extension of this sales tax would be a continuation of what you are already paying. It is not a new tax. With current interest rates at optimal levels, refinancing would provide a one-time savings and ensure funding for capital projects in the future. This will protect Jefferson Parish against further state and budgetary cuts. All projects are and will continue to be legislated through the Jefferson Parish Council. Restructuring current debt in this way means that Jefferson Parish will be able to raise approximately $85 million for new projects in 2017 and approximately $235 million for new projects in 2019. We will accomplish this all while keeping our annual debt service the same as its current levels. The renewal of these millages, which fund Jefferson Parish drainage, recreation, and our library system, as well as the 7 8 sales tax, would allow Jefferson Parish to maintain the level of public service and improvements that enhance the quality of life which the citizens of Jefferson Parish have come to expect. Please remember to vote December 10th, 2016, or plan to early vote between November 26th and December 3rd.